Hi guys, this is a video about seeding rebutter with content. So, uh, my, the last video I made was on the same subject and the difficulty that we have adding rebuttals, particularly when you're trying to find rebuttals to an article you found, and how I think it's easier to go the other way around. So I've just made a um, blog post to help get that process started. And what this is, is I've found lists of blogs that represent a particular site of one of the popular contentious issues on the internet. And so I've, broke, I've picked a few of them, it's probably more, but climate change, atheism, evolution, vaccine, skepticism, and liberal conservative debates. These, these subjects are very popular and quite common in the media and and just, you know, people like to get in fights about it, I guess. And so the whole purpose of Rebutter is to facilitate these discussions and to, to streamline them, to find the best responses to any given argument that's been made. So in order to do that, that in order to do that though, we need to get the conversation started within Rebutter. These conversations are happening, but there's no easy way for people to follow them online. You've just got your one article, you find it, you stumble upon your article, you read it, and the best you get is 150,000 comments below it none of which are particularly interesting or coherent. They're just like messy. So that's useless. And the ability to find direct rebuttals to the things, it's not there anyway. Probably preaching the converted. This is what rebuttal is about, to facilitate serious conversation and allow people to follow arguments. So anyway, what we need to get that started, people to basically use these lists to come here and pick a blog or a number of blogs preferably and to follow them and so in doing so occasionally you'll get an article which is a rebuttal to something and when you see one of these sorts of rebuttal articles and you recognize it as such add it to the system now while I was actually collecting these lists I sort of accidentally found one I found a four-part discussion it was in this the skeptical science um, weekly highlights and it was still going down the up escalator. So in this article, I have found one, I, sort of ironically, I did that. for some reason their link isn't working. Either it was my history. So I'm going to get back to front, well, street journal. Um, Interestingly enough, this is already in our system because we're trying to find examples of it, and uh, this has been in the news a lot lately. So the Wall Street Journal wrote an article on climate um, change not being a problem, and then at least four, probably hundreds of places responded to it. But this article is about four places that used their graph, and one of them was Phil Plate over at um, Bad Astronomy. And then in response to that, um, William Briggs wrote his own response and now we're here again so the, f the place you start is the end of the conversation so this was written and then discover magazines written I could click through but I've just opened it up discover magazine has responded to it and it again links back to the original article but in response to that we get this which again links back to Phil Plate so that links back to this article and then this links back to all three of the articles. Now though, at every single step of the way, we can click through to the next step. So through finding this one post, thanks to this Highlights Digest, or I didn't have to use that, of course, um, looking at the archive, I could have just found it. Still going down the up escalator, there it is. So if you subscribe to this blog, you would have seen that article, and in reading it, you would have recognized that there's a discussion there four-step discussion, add all of them to the system, and there you go, you've now got a series of rebuttals. Uh, that's that's the idea here. There's m many of you who are interested in helping seed the project that can get onto that sort of a process. Pick a subject that you're interested in. So I'm going back to the page. There it is, it's the first one. Um, pick a subject that you're passionate about. And if you're an evolutionist or a creationist or you think vaccines save lives or you think vaccines are killing people and the way the government controls us, keep us in a state of sickness so that we can 
live longer. I don't know. Uh, then subscribe. Um, use this. Use these lists. Find a list of blogs. Pick a few blogs. Subscribe to them. Follow them. And look for their rebuttals. Add them to the system. And the slowly rebuttal will grow in content and usefulness so that when we finally do launch and people come in, they've got content to use. Because if there's no content, then they will not see the point and they will leave. So we need that help. And uh, thank you very much if you can help provide it. See you.